Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Robin and I'm in the same top that you've probably seen from another video because I'm bulk filming. Go me. I don't normally do this. But anyway, I'm here to do a tag video and I was tagged by Ray a little while ago, but I'm doing it nonetheless. I was tagged by Ray to do the finish the book tag. So I will have Ray's video down below and I think I'll have the original creator down below as well. The first question is, do you keep a list of the books that you've read? And I do, I have multiple lists. I keep track of books I've read on Goodreads. I have um, a story graph where I keep track of the books I read. And then I have my reading journal that I have a bookshelf on and I have pictures and images of the books that I've read and DNF'd, but I keep track of them. Oh, you know what? I also have a spreadsheet that has all of the books that I've read in the year. I mean, you can't have too many ways to track your reading. Question two, if you record stats, what stats do you track? So you see, I try to track stats because I'm curious about my reading, but not curious enough to be consistent. But if I were, I would track the number of pages that I read and the number of hours that I spent reading. Although that one is a little hard because I always write down like the actual amount of time that an audiobook is, but that's not really how long it took me to read. You know what I mean? I'm listening at two times speed, so Clearly, I'm not reading a 17 hour book for 17 hours. I'm reading it for like eight and a half. Math. That one gets a little iffy. I also like to keep stats on the format of the books that I'm reading, where I've gotten the books, like whether they came from the library or whether they were from my own TBR. And I think those are really the only stats that I kind of keep track of. Question three is, do you give star ratings? If so, what do you score books out of and how do you come to the score? And so I do give star ratings. I give ratings out of five stars. So I give like two ratings. I give my initial first impressions and usually those go like in my journal. Um, and because when you first finish something, you're just like, wow, that was great. And then like you sit on it for a day or two and you're like, you know what? It was great, but it wasn't like that great. You know what I mean? If I DNF a book, I will still sometimes rate that bitch because like, why were you bad? Like, why were you so bad that I DNF'd you? I don't really rate um, personal nonfiction, like memoirs and biographies, because like, you know, someone's life, right? But if it's a nonfiction about like a topic, I will rate it. And then like, how do I come to this overall score? It's really about feelings, right? Like I'm not like, okay, was the writing and it's all about how I felt while I read it. Did I really enjoy reading it? or um, did everything make sense to me? Did I enjoy the characters? Did I enjoy the overall plot? Was there a plot? Sometimes a book is all vibes, no plot. And sometimes that's great and sometimes it's not. It really just depends on how I feel. Aren't all of these ratings just very subjective? A lot of them. Three stars is like an average rating. It was okay. Anything less than three, you really just didn't do it for me. Not many books get like a one star. Five stars obviously are creme de la creme. Although five stars may not always be my favorite books of all time. Sometimes they are just very good books that I've read. Um, a favorite of mine could be a four star. It just, you know, at the moment it just didn't have a certain something. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense. It makes sense up here. And that's all that matters because these are my readings at the end of the day. And then I can elaborate on what I did or did not like about something to give you a better idea of whether you might wanna read it too. Question four is, do you review books? Uh, I do here sometimes when I'm around, I do talk about books and talk about 
why I like them or didn't like them. And then I give you guys a brief summary of said book so that you too can decide whether you want to embark on that journey. Also, every now and again, I'll do like a written review on Goodreads or Storygraph. I need to do a little bit better at doing that, but I don't. And I give every book that I read, I write a review in my journal, mostly for me so that I know what I thought about something because sometimes I don't review books right away and it could be months from when I review something and I need to just jog my memory. So I'll like write a little review in my reading journal. Question five, where do you put your finished books? Um, on, I put them on my shelves. Or if I know that I'm not gonna reread it again, or I didn't like it, I have a box that sits right by the front door of my apartment and those books go in that box waiting to be unhauled and sent to friends of the library or something. Question six, how do you pick your next book? If I'm doing a readathon, obviously I have a set TBR and I will choose books that fit prompts for a readathon, right? But regularly, I've been kind of mood reading-ish lately where I just, I don't even know if it's mood reading because sometimes I'm not just picking things like I feel like reading. I literally have like a number generator, a random number generator, pick a number that coordinates with a book that's on my Excel spreadsheet of the books that I own. And then I'll just be like, okay, well, the random number generator said 17. Well, and I'll go down that list and whatever 17 is, that's what I'm reading. Sometimes I don't want to choose. You know what I mean? Like, my brain is tired. I just want to read something. And if somebody can tell me what to read, even better. But I do think I am going to have a couple of videos coming up where people choose my TBR for me. So, works for me either way. Question seven. Do you have any other rituals for when you finish a book? Um, I don't think so. I normally finish a book and then I write down my rating in my reading journal. Um, I write some thoughts, you know, some end of book thoughts in that reading journal. And then maybe like a few days later, I'll go back and I'll read through my notes and really think about what I want my rating to be. And then after that, that's, that's the end of reading ritual. I mean, I guess there's also like the talking and reviewing of the book part, but I don't know that I would include that in like a ritual because not all books get reviewed. And question eight is who do you tag? So I'm going to tag Paige from the PM Reader if she hasn't already done this and Jess at Just the Book Freak and uh, that's it. So if you want to do this tag, you are more than welcome to do it tag your it. I can't wait to see your video. And until next time. Bye.